Our next speaker is someone who I am very excited to announce. She is a NASA fluid mechanics researcher at the NASA Ames Center. Prior to coming to NASA, she did medical development design, she did aircraft design, and she worked in aerodynamics. Um, anyone else worked in all those three fields? <laughs> um, and her talk is going to be short, but very powerful. And we're going to make sure that she is all mic'd up. Are you ready to go? Please welcome Christina Go. Hello. Whoa. Today is the day that I come out as a homosexual, both professionally and personally. I've always been really private about my personal life, especially at work. When I started my career in college, I told myself I wasn't going to come out until I had a well-established career. So if there were any repercussions, the damages wouldn't be too severe. Well, I just started my career. I thought to myself, what would be the point of waiting? How long would I have to wait for, giving way to the pressure to succeed before I felt comfortable enough to come out? As time went on, I actually started feeling ashamed of myself. It wasn't like I wanted to talk about my deep, dark feelings about the person I was currently dating to my colleagues. It was more the comfort and satisfaction that was in hiding such a huge part of myself, Monday through Friday, anticipating the stressful questions when asked about my weekend plans with my partner and remembering to use the pronouns he instead of she. I work for a government agency where the average age is 53 and the generation gap is more than obvious, especially when I'm not even half that age. So it should be no surprise that the idea of coming out stunts me with fear when I'm surrounded by conservatism and social differences in our lives outside of work. While my mind is filled with uneasy thoughts and what-ifs at the idea of coming out, I feel myself hiding deeper and deeper into my shell and losing a part of who I really am. Will I be looked at differently? Will the friends I have made still want to be my friends? Or will I be the new gossip at my job as people whisper my name as I walk down the hall? It's never as bad as it seems in my head or I really hope it isn't. I'm also a really huge advocate in inspiring the next generation in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, to shed light on opportunities one may not know that they had. There's also been a huge push in getting women and minorities into this field as well. But what I felt was missing was a voice for the LGBT community, to bring comfort to those in this field, or in any field for that matter, even if the generation gap is hugely different. My age, gender, or my race certainly isn't to my favor. I'm in my mid-20s, a woman, and of minority descent. And to top everything off, I'm also super gay. <laughs> Fantastic combination, isn't it? I'll save gender equality and racial profiling for another day. Now, what if I do come out and the best happens? I'm overwhelmed with acceptance of my peers but there's that one person, that one person that doesn't agree with my lifestyle. And honestly, with my luck, it's going to be that one person that decides if I get a promotion or not. It's terrifying to know that it takes one person, one human being to make my life miserable at work. Because of this, many of my LGBT friends go to work every day hiding who they really are. They listen to your colleagues speak about their hetero partners, and when asked back, is simply brush off the question with a vague and generic answer. Same old, uh, nothing new. Even though their newly engaged fiance is eagerly waiting for their love to get home. Some may argue that is their own private lives. I agree, and it certainly is. But the option of sharing something so significant of yourself should always be an option. And the only reason not to is because you don't want to, not because of fear. Today. We all live in the Silicon Valley, and it's 2015. Yes, it's easier here than in most places, but overall, there's still a lot more progress to be made. 
fact is, there are still 29 states where we could be fired for being gay and 32 for being transgender. At work, I've heard colleagues negatively portraying homosexuals using a part of who I am as a stepping stone into a poorly worded joke. When I tell people about the concerns I have with the professional LGBT community, I usually get the response, well, isn't it like that everywhere? Ah, oh, that's okay, they don't really mean it. Must be a generation gap thing. How has that become acceptable? If I were to make fun of someone's child, age, gender, no matter how subtle it may be, I'm sure offense would be taken. And that's when it hit me. I can't hide when I want change. Why should it be like that everywhere? When will it become unacceptable that a hurtful comment about gays, lesbians, bi's, and transgender be dismissed as a simple knock-knock joke? If I had spoken up, if I could have been an advocate for the LGBT community at my work, I could have made a difference. My colleagues, knowing I am a lesbian, could help shape their ideas on homosexuality. I'm no different than the rest of them. I'm able to work efficiently, think critically, and there's no rainbow that follows me around to distract anybody. <laughs> my sexuality would never compromise the integrity of my work, and I no longer want to treat that part of me like it would. I must say, it's Difficult being up here today, having my coworkers in the audience hearing this for the first time. But I've realized that my silence is not only damaging to my own self-image, but damaging to everyone that struggles professionally to be out the closet. And with this, I hope that my voice today will bring those around me courage, awareness, and acceptance. Thank you very much.